Hey y'all, so I partnered with Myel Organics today to show you how I achieve these gorgeous ringlets using their Mangango Oil Collection, which can be found at your local Sally Beauty. So this is my hair before styling, and as you can see, it's stretched out to the max and it's ready to be restyled. The first product that I'll be using is Myel Mangango Oil Pre-Shampoo Treatment, which has a runny gel-like consistency with a cooling peppermint scent. This product was formulated to add moisture to the hair and to prep it for shampooing and manipulation. It's super, super slippery in texture and a little goes a long way with this product. It instantly softens my hair and allows for easy detangling. I apply it in sections to make sure that it gets evenly distributed throughout my hair and then I clip each section up and leave it on for 5 minutes. Next I'll be using Myel Mangango Oil Exfoliating Shampoo which is made to remove excess buildup on the hair without drying it out. Now I didn't even rinse out the pre-shampoo treatment, I just went right into the shampooing process. Let me tell y'all, this shampoo smells absolutely divine and gives a rich, thick, creamy lather right on contact. It also gives my hair some slip, which if you know me, you know that I love shampoo with slip. I only shampooed once because after rinsing my hair felt pretty clean, but not dry. Next I'm using Myel Mangango Oil Hydrating Conditioner, which is protein free for everyone who is protein sensitive. Now this is formulated to give the hair intense hydration and to protect hair from the heat without the added protein. The scent is absolutely beautiful. It just smells like a luxurious perfume, but not too perfumey. And it gives my hair just the right amount of slip to detangle my hair thoroughly. I apply the conditioner in sections, concentrating it more on my ends because that is the driest part of my hair. And then I twist each section and then I let it sit for 15 minutes without heat because I did think that I had a plastic cap, but I didn't. After rinsing the conditioner out, my hair is super soft and thoroughly moisturized. Now it's time to style. Now I'll be using Myel Mangango Oil Style Setting Spray, which is moisturizing to the hair and it protects the hair from heat styling. It can be used for blow drying and for wet setting the hair. Now this stuff is amazing y'all. It gives it so much slip. I just apply a generous amount to each section and then I brush the hair through. Now taking a large flexi rod, I'm gonna start rolling my hair at the root and I'm gonna do that in a twisting motion as you can see. I then bend the rod at the root against my hair and then I comb my ends before I roll them onto the rod and then I go ahead and bend the other end of the flexi rod to secure it. Again, I saturate my hair with the style setting spray. I brush it until it's nice and smooth and then I begin wrapping the hair firmly onto the rod, maintaining the same tension from roots to ends. Remember that I'm wrapping the hair in a twisting motion and midway I comb the ends and apply a little bit more product to ensure a smooth, even result. Then I continue wrapping my ends onto the rod, maintaining the same tension, and then I bend the two ends of the rod against my hair to secure. I do find that the wetter your hair is, the better it comes out because it's able to adhere to the rod. So that's just a tip that you can learn from me. Also, I like to twist my roots whenever I get to a section that's a little bit bigger. That way it's gonna prevent any puffiness at the root. And in case you're wondering why I comb my ends midway, I do this because as I apply tension on my hair, my hair begins to feel a little rough on the ends as I go further down. So I comb through and I apply a little bit more setting spray to ensure that the ends are smooth. So this is how my hair looks when I'm done rolling my hair. Now it's time for a very rough night of sleep. So the next morning my hair is 100% dry, now it's time to take the rods out. I simply unbend each end of the rod and then I unwind the hair as such from roots to ends. Now look at that curl y'all. 
So I just continue to carefully remove them in the opposite way that they were rolled until I take them all out of my head. And I have to admit that the results speak for themselves. The curls are nice and shiny and defined and as I release each rod, you can just see the bounce and the movement in each curl. I'm just loving my results. All right, so now that I've removed all the rods, it's time to separate the curls for a fuller look. To separate, I'm using my El Mangongo Oil Pomade to Oil Treatment, which turns into this velvety butter once you rub it between your hands, as you can see. I kid you not, this product is the truth. It smells absolutely amazing, and it prevents my hair from frizzing up as I separate each curl and it just makes my hair feel like silk and adds an intense amount of shine to my hair. A little goes a long way with this product and I really do love that about it. I separate my curls by twirling my hair in the direction that it was curled until I'm happy with the fullness and the volume. Like I said, you can just see that the curls are bouncy and defined and have lots of shine and body. Now finally, I'm gonna use a pick to lift my roots just a little bit, not too much because I don't wanna cause any excess frizz. And that concludes my Flexi Rod set using my L Organics Mangongo Oil Collection. I have to say that I absolutely love my hair. And if you do, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so much enough to where you subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials. Be sure to also check out the description box for a list of the products that I used today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.